So when it comes to painting the wine glass, one of the things we have to think about is all of these very subtle reflections. There's a little bit of yellow and obviously this grayer color where you can see the background through the wine glass. And then these very subtle edges which give an idea that this is made out of glass. In some areas you can see the teddy bear or other objects, in this case the lizard, showing through the glass. The, the object isn't quite as detailed, it looks a little bit blurred. And even here you can see the teddy bear reflected in the glass a little bit there. Now when it comes to working on the wine glass, this is obviously a darkish purple colour. This is obviously the same colour, but the light is catching it from above, so it looks like a lighter version. Whereas these are all very light, subtle colours. And one of the things about working with watercolour, sometimes you need to consider, is it going to be more effective to lighten a colour with water rather than lightening a colour with white? And up until now, we've done a lot of lightening of colours with water. Here we're going to look at trying to lighten these areas with water. It's going to be far more effective and far more subtle. So when it comes to painting my background greyish colour, which got a hint of blue on it, to get that colour correct, maybe a little bit of black in that colour is even bits of red so you can see there's lots of colours I'm thinking about so one thing I would start off here is my base colour is going to be very subtle and very light so you can only just see based on the paper I'm using how it's looking on the video. So that's quite watery. And now I'm looking at the area. This area here looks like it's got a little bit of subtle red in it. And then here we've got a few areas of yellow so again very watery yellow which i'm then going to try to put on into the paint probably a little bit dark i'm gonna just take a clean brush try to spread that out a little bit you can see some straightish lines there of slightly darker color which kind of go up a bit like that. So you're trying to create that overall effect. There's even a little bit of texture there, which is kind of giving the idea of the reflection of this back of the head of the teddy bear, which looks quite textured. So I'm going to dab my brush. So these are our background colours. Now when it gets more difficult is trying to make it look like these are glass. So I've got this area here which is a little bit darker. I'm going to add a bit of dark paint in there and I'm going to take my clean damp brush, dry it and then try to blend that in slightly on the edge there. So that's going to make that edge look a bit more three-dimensional and then when it comes to painting in some of these fine grayish outlines this is where we need to take our fine brush really twist it into a point and get the idea that the edge is just coming around there a little bit just a broken edge, I'm not painting a straight line, I'm just painting a bit and then changing it. So that will give us that bit. If we now mix up the dark red, this looks like purpley red colour. So I'm going to start off with this darkest blue 
and add a little bit of red to it and see what we come up with. Well, that looks pretty good to me. So there's not much happening in here. That looks like a relatively flat color to paint. Turning it round in order to accurately get in to the corners and paint up to the line. Some of you may have noticed that when I'm painting, you see my brush is starting to split. Therefore, I'm trying to twist it into a point, but it's getting increasingly difficult. And I know if I want to paint incredibly accurately and get a high mark, I'm just about on the verge of needing to get myself a new paintbrush because I'm finding it quite difficult to get into these corners where the brush is starting to split. This area on top is effectively the same color, but it looks like it's got a little bit of white into it in it. So a bit more red I think. And now a little bit more white. And that's nearly there. A little bit more white again. That's pretty close. So now when you when I look at these top reflections, I can see it's a lighter color like that. You see the brush starting to split, it's not holding itself to a point. So this is the last time I'm going to use this brush. And then finally, we've got a few areas. It looks like there's a little bit more red in places. So 